Hello darling, I'm Mandy, and if you're like most parents with young kids, your sex life has dramatically changed, and probably not for the better. Let's be honest, most nights, spending time with your pillow sounds way better than getting busy. Between stretch marks and a serious lack of sleep, it's so easy to come up with what we like to call sexcuses, the reasons that keep us from saying yes to a romp in the sheets. So I'm here with my hubby Joe, who's going to give us a guy's perspective on our sex excuses. So babe, let's talk sex and sex excuses. So many women, after they have had kids, feel like they don't feel sexy being naked anymore, whether it's stretch marks or having gained weight from being pregnant. Um, what do guys think about that? I, I think guys want to do it no matter what so I think the more comfortable you are with your body the more fun you'll have I think your guy is going to have fun no matter what okay so I have to be honest when our kids were super little one of the last priorities for me was like shaving my legs or taking a shower on a regular basis how does that play into the whole sex experience I, I think it's the same thing. I think that uh, I think for the most part, women are going to way overthink this department. Um, but if you need to, you know, hop in the shower together. You know, you're you're both probably tired. You know, it's it's easy to let things go. But you know, hop in the shower together and you know, I don't know give each other a shave. Who cares? <laughs> I, I think I think again for the most part, I think women are going to way overthink this. Uh, so just have fun. And when kids are little and you're either nursing babies or chasing after toddlers all day long, by the time nighttime comes around, you're completely exhausted. And probably one of the last things you want to do is have sex just because it feels exhausting. How does that, how do guys interpret that? I think that it's, uh, I think that guys are tired too. You know, typically you're both working hard and at the end of the night, you know, it's, it's easier to fall asleep than it would be to, to have sex. Um, but I think it's also one of those things where guys, I think, express and receive love physically and that intimacy is really important. And so the lower on the priority list it becomes, the easier it is just to forget about doing that. Um, so I think the, the important thing to remember is to keep it on the priority list and do it even if you don't feel like it. It's kind of like working out, you know, you're, you may not feel like working out, but it's almost always you feel much, much better after you've worked out. I think it falls into that same category. So take the time, make it a priority because I think your husband is going to feel uh, that intimacy or needs that intimacy, uh, maybe even more than you do. And talk quantity versus quality. I think uh, women, well I don't know, I'm not a girl, so I don't know, but for guys I think uh, quantity is much more important than quality. Uh, so if you make it a priority and, uh, and keep the frequency up, I think your guy will appreciate it. Okay, so so many women feel like things have to be perfect to have a really fantastic sexual experience, like candles and music and the whole ambiance. How do guys view that? Um, I think it's a, it's a good idea to place importance again that would be more on the on the quality side uh, so have you know have the candle light and the rose petals and the berry white you know whatever whatever you've got to do that's fine to do but I think if you're waiting for that perfect moment every time I think it will be almost impossible especially with young kids uh, you just can't do that all the time so again my my guess is most guys are going to prefer the quantity uh, and uh, and we're just talking about guys here, so mm -hmm. women probably need something different, but for guys, ladies, keep in mind, quantity is best. <laughs> okay, last question. What is the one thing guys wish their women knew about sex? Um, I think the most important thing to remember is to initiate sex. I think for the most part, guys are the ones that initiate the physical intimacy. And so I think your guy will really appreciate if you're the one who is initiating uh, sex. Awesome. Okay, ladies, no more excuses. We've learned that our guys don't care if our legs aren't shaved or if the mood isn't just perfect. All they want is to just be with us. Let's count one, two, three. Close your eyes